Hi everybody and welcome to today's art class. Um, today we are on our jungle art packet and we are doing class number four and we are going to draw a monkey. So let's get started. As always I have my pencil, my eraser, and then I have crayons and markers. I think I'm probably going to stick with crayons today. I'm going to start like always by putting my name. This one has a name spot. And then I'm going to get started. So they draw this monkey very differently from how I would normally teach you, but let's go with the way they show. Normally, I would tell you to break down the shapes, the biggest shape you see. So we would start with the head and then the body. But let's try to do it the way they want. So I'm going to start out um, kind of up in the top part of my page in the middle. I'm going to draw two circles about the same size and a little bit apart. These are going to be your eyeballs, okay? And in those eyeballs, I'm going to put a little circle that's going to be the highlight or the reflective spot part of the eyes. And I'm just erasing, cleaning up those lines. All right, I'm ready to move on. Step number two is drawing the spots around the eyes. So we're gonna draw, um, they kind of draw the circles so that they sit above the eyeball and touch the eyeball. There we go. So next, they want you to draw the mouth and like the muzzle part. So we're gonna draw, like I wanna call it like a potato shape or like kind of a rectangle with curved sides or maybe an oval. And then we're gonna put a line across it. That's its mouth. So I'm gonna kind of make it smile a little bit. If you wanna put the mouth straight across like how they have it, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay. So step one, two, three. Oh, and I forgot to draw the nostrils, big circles up at the top, okay? Step number four is drawing the um, shape around the face. This to me kind of looks like a frog. So it goes in and around the mouth and it kind of pinches in and then it goes around the eyes, pinches in goes around the eyes again. Ooh, it's kind of scary looking. Like a frog monkey. Step number four. Now step number five, we're finally getting to the outside of the head. So step number five, you draw this like oval shape, kind of um, like a space helmet over the whole thing. And then we're gonna put a line out this way and a line out this way. And then to make the fur, we're just going to make little zigzags. Think about a zigzag pattern. You go up and down, up and down, like almost like triangles. And try to make sure they're the same distance apart. You try to keep them the same, looking the same. Beautiful. So that's step number five. Step number six is drawing the body. And we're going to have to draw the body a little different because our drawing space is smaller than what the picture is. Um, so I'm just going to bring a line down and off the page. This is going to be my monkey's shoulders. And then I'm going to bring a line that curves up and, whoops, and around from my monkey's tummy. Step number six. Step number seven is drawing our monkey's ears. So I'm going to draw my inside circle first and then my outside circle and they put fur on theirs i'm not going to put fur on mine and then i'm not going to really add a background to mine because there's just not enough room if you have room for a background go ahead and add a background and that would be step number eight i'm going to get started with coloring so i'm going to start off coloring my monkey so it looks like we're going to need a couple different color browns at least three so i'm going to grab dark brown I'm going to grab, I don't really have multiple brown colors. Um, I'm going to grab peach, I guess. 
and then black. Those will be my monkey colors. Um, so let's get started. I am gonna make my monkey's body mostly dark brown. So that means the outside of his body right here. And I'm gonna outline all those zigzags. I'm also gonna make the zigzags dark brown too. But I wanna show them, so I'm gonna outline them. I'm gonna color it a little differently than they have it colored, okay? And now I'm gonna color in that part of my monkey's body, not the tummy, but the outside part, dark brown. Oh, and here's a trick. If you want it to look like fur, you can do little dark lines going down. This only works with crayon or color pencil, but show it going down. I go this direction because I'm showing the fur going this direction around his tummy. I'm gonna show it going the other direction like that. And now using a really soft whisper color, just pushing very softly, I'm gonna go ahead and color it in. And those hair lines or fur lines will stand out and you'll be able to see them. So it'll kind of give some texture. And I'm not gonna color real carefully around the zigzags because I'm gonna make the neck this dark color too. Okay, so now that neck fur, I'm gonna color that part in dark brown, this nice chocolatey brown. Okay, now I am going to do the outside of his ears this brown color, not the inside. Or maybe it's a her. And then I'm gonna do the outside of its face, this dark color. So I'm gonna outline its head. And I'll go back and outline in black too. And then I'm gonna quickly color in, but nicely color in this outside part of the monkey's head. This one was kind of a tricky one, guys. It was kind of tricky how they drew it. I think next time I would draw it where we draw the main shapes first, like draw the head first and then the body and then fill in the details because that kind of helps with um, getting proportion, getting things to look like they're the right size. But it was a good practice. It was good practice. And I bet all your guys' work is beautiful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and color my monkey's tummy this peach color. Again, I'm just gonna outline now my peach is very light. I don't know if you guys will really be able to see it. I don't really have a light brown though. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the outside of my monkey's face. The outside of its eyes. And its ears. And then that patch of fur in their eyes, I'm gonna do that brown color and kind of make it look like fur. And I'm gonna do its nose this dark color too. Like nose and mouth. Cool, so now my monkey is colored in. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in the background real quick. Um, they did green for the background. Uh, maybe I'll do, yeah, I'll do green too. Again, I'm just gonna outline a little bit very gently, and then I'm just gonna quickly, lightly color it in. I drew my monkey pretty big, so I don't have a lot of background space. If you do have a lot of background space, though, go ahead and try to draw the jungle, the leaves, and the trees. Maybe I'll do some leaf details in the crayon after I color it in. I'll show you a trick. OK, 
Okay, so I'm pushing very, very lightly because again, for the background, I don't really want the background to be the focus. I want the monkey to be the focus. So there, um, so I'm really trying to push very light so it's not a very dark background, even though I kind of picked a dark color because I'm pushing so light, the color turns out kind of light. Okay, so now if I wanna add leaves, what if I, I'm like, okay, I feel like this is a good coloring in the background, but I wanna add some jungle details. I'm just gonna take my the same color crayon and push hard and draw leaves. So remember, it's that like eyeball or football shape, and you can kind of have them going off the page and just like draw the front of the leaf. Don't go overboard, but have some fun with it. Or if you wanted to do like yellow and draw bananas or something in the background, Okay, now I'm going to take out my black and I'm going to start outlining and coloring my eyes. First, I'm going to color in my eyes because I think it looks really creepy right now. Remember, I'm going to leave that white spot white. Oh, so much better, so much cuter, so much cuter. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to color in the nostrils black and its little mouth. Now I'm going to outline everything. Maybe not everything, just like the important bits that need to be outlined. Just wherever you think you need a little pop to show the difference. So again, I'm not outlining everything. The dark brown's pretty dark and worked really well, so. There we go, so there we have our monkey thank you so much for joining me for today's art class and i'll see you next time bye guys